Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. Several new members I want to say hello to, Lewis. New members of the David Pakman Show membership program. Peter Buck, Noah Brownstone, Kyle Hagen, Rachel Shea, and Sean Snyder. Welcome. Welcome to all of you and many others as well who have chosen to remain anonymous. Probably smart if you're looking to apply for any jobs, right? Last thing you need to be associated with is the progressive mafia. Yeah. No question about it. All right. Are U.S. government microwave mind control tests causing TV presenters' brains to melt down? You know what I'm talking about, Lewis. You've seen a bunch of these meltdowns happen recently. Yes. Very strange stuff. I guess apparently this one we don't have video of, but I'll, I'll give you some video and audio from some. Judge Judy, I guess, had to stop her TV appearance or her courtroom TV show the other day because she went into one of these nonsense language rants. Mm hmm. And I've got a bunch of these to play for you. Here is, this is Serene Branson. And this is, uh, she is the, this was a Grammy reporter. So we'll put up the video for our TV audience um, and also uh, the, the audio. This is what happened. And some people are saying this has to be the U.S. government doing microwave tests. I don't buy into it. It's a conspiracy theory, as we know. And we'll talk to Jesse Ventura about those. But I don't know what the explanation is. Maybe some kind of stroke? Here, let, let, let's see. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Daris, Darison bite. Let's go to Terrace Chase and those for the bit. They had the pet. Okay. So that was weird, right? I mean, what, there's really no clear explanation from that. Uh, I guess afterwards she said she had a headache and she just didn't, didn't really know. But see, she did, she did realize that she was doing it. And she looked, she kind of had the look on her face like, what the hell is going on? All right. Well, here's another one. We're going to have to turn this one way up. Well, Wisconsin has officially joined 25 other states in a lawsuit against President Obama's health care reform law. Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen says Wisconsin is the latest state, including Iowa, Kansas, Maine, Ohio, and Wyoming, to join Florida's suit. The states claim in the exorcist saw Antisracho and Palais Bringritz by Health Urgent. Okay. Yeah. So then the other anchor woman obviously is a little bit distraught. And then here is one also from Canada. So this not just happening in the U.S., Lewis. No, uh, Defense Minister uh, McCain uh, McLeod did confirm today that more than 54 18 fighter jets are spending about as much as 20 and ready to as assist the 600, uh, 100 deployed over the amount needed. Now, it did depend that how the NOLAN remerges RN while the university or the UN mi mission has whole received support from all patteries in the hues of the, the garbage of, yeah. of today. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, so w w this can't be, can this be coincidence <laughs> that all of these happen in such a short I don't know. Time. I mean, this is where it comes from that people are saying, I know is this some kind of test that the government is doing? And that I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I know with the, the first one we played, um, it was, it was confirmed that she did not have a stroke. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I don't, I, you know, it's strange to me that they seem almost like unable to stop after they've said a couple of words wrong, but maybe when you're in the zone with the teleprompter, you just keep going. Even if what you're saying is, is complete gibberish. Because usually when reporters just trip over a couple of words, they apologize, they correct themselves. But it's with this, it's, it's almost like the brain, it, they're not even aware that they're just talking gibberish. And some, now see, I think, I think they, to an extent, they are aware. Because I think they know when something's wrong. I think when you're having a stroke, that's when you, that's when most people don't realize that they're speaking gibberish. Or, yeah, no, I'm not saying these yeah, are strokes, right, right. but it was a question that was brought up. Right. I just, some people are saying what it is, is that they've got an, an, uh, an IFB in their ear and there's a producer talking to them and it just starts distracting them and, and they lose the train of thought. But that's, that's been going on for years too. I don't know. I don't know what it is that is causing these to, to all happen. It's very bizarre though. I could see it being some type of, some type of, uh, frequency or some type of something that just changes things something something's tweaking in there something that break, <laughs> breaks your concentration i mean it sounds like is lewis having one of these moments right now like are you doing the thing right now i'm not doing the thing okay I think every time you talk, 
Uh, yeah, but, the, the peanut gallery in the back is saying every time Lewis talks, it's one of these gibberish rants. But that's not, uh, that's not, we'll leave that type of comment to the audience. We don't want to impose that. I could see something just jumbling things up there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just very weird that all of a sudden this is happening everywhere. It is strange. So if anybody has any suggestions, any doctors listen to the show, please tell me what it is that might be causing this. I don't subscribe to the microwave test no. theory. I read some comments uh, from some of these videos and people are saying, don't keep cell phones in your pockets. Like, mm. um, <laughs> you know, iPads, Wi-Fi, yeah. all sorts of wireless stuff. I don't know. Yeah. You stay away from it all, right? That's pretty much unavoidable, actually. Okay. Well, I guess there's not much else to say about it. 